Hey guys, Tech Commentary, welcome to video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get back into your iPhone if you forgot your passcode. Now, one of the methods will not require a computer or anything like that, so you can use that method if it applies to you. And the two of the other methods will require a computer or another device as well. So you have different ways to get back into your phone if you forgot your passcode or if you enter it and it keeps on giving you that lock screen where you can't get back through it. So what will happen is method number one is you're gonna enter your passcode multiple times and after you enter it a certain amount of times, it will make you wait one minute and then it will make you wait five minute and then 15 minute, it will keep on adding. But on iOS 15.2 or later, if your iPhone is upgraded to pass iOS 15.2 or later, what will happen is after the 15 minute, if you try to enter the password again incorrectly, you'll get this another lock screen here and then you'll have to wait till another 15 minute and then wait till 15 minutes or however longer and then you're gonna try to enter the password one more time and we'll show you what happens when you try to do that. But let's wait 15 minutes first. Alrighty guys, so wait about 15 minutes now. If you try to unlock it again one more time, you see where now we get this iPhone unavailable, but if you notice at the bottom here, there's an erase iPhone option that comes up. So now we didn't need any computer or anything. We just had to wait until 15 minutes, Mark was up and waited 15 minutes. And this is available again on iOS 15.2 or later if your iPhone was updated. So we can hit that erase option here now this time. And as you can see here, all content and settings will be erased. This is a security lockout, um, which you can try your passcode in one hour. So if you click on this to erase it, you can enter your password in here and it will erase your iPhone basically, but make sure you know your password for your Apple ID. And again, this will erase everything on the phone, videos, photos, all of your apps. But if you have a backup on your iCloud, you can get all of the things back pretty much on your device again. So this is how you do it if you don't have a computer at your hand and you can pretty much go through this process. It does take a little bit of waiting, but again, as you saw, we didn't need to involve the computer or anything like that. We erase it and then we sign into our phone here and then it will get us to erase the device. Basically, you enter the password, erase, and then you back, you sign, you'll be able to get back in because it'll erase everything. You'll set it up fresh with your Apple ID and everything. And then back up from iCloud or iTunes, like, just like you would if you got a brand new phone. So that's method one. Now let's move on to method number two. So now moving on to method number two, as you can see here, if you're not going to use that or if your phone wasn't updated to 15.2 or later, you can't use that. You're going to have to use the computer or another iPhone or Apple device that you have. And the reason why you do that is you're going to want to open up Safari. So we open up Safari here. And then once you open up Safari, what you're going to do is navigate to iCloud.com. Once you go to iCloud.com, it's going to basically ask you to sign in. So as you can see, I'm already signed in here. But if you weren't signed in, you're going to have to sign in through the console here. So it's going to be, let me sign out really quick here. So I'll go ahead and sign in here. It'll come up just like that. And you're going to want to sign in with your email. That's the same one that was used on your on your phone. It can't be any other one. It has to be the same exact Apple ID that was using on the phone. So you're going to want to do that. And then here you're going to enter your passcode. Alrighty. So I'll enter the passcode in and now, if you have two-factor on, it will ask you to enter the code for two-factor on another app. It'll send it to another Apple device you have, or it'll send you a text code as well. You can do it to get into this console. Now, once you get in here, now what you want to do is simply go up top here. Now, it might be slightly different from you. This iCloud has been updated. As you can see, the interface has changed from the previous years that we've seen. What you want to do is click on over here and then you'll look for Find My. Now you click on Find My and once you do that, you're going to want to just go ahead and look at your devices here. Now you're going to locate the device, right? This one, for example, right? You're going to click on that and then once you click on that, 
you'll see there's the option to erase, just like there was the option to erase when you lock yourself out. You can also click on that and go through this process that will erase your device. And then once it erase it, same thing, you can do the backup again, restore it, and then you'll be good to go. So that's the other method you can do. Now, let's say you weren't able to get in here with the passcode and you were having issues with the other one because it was an update. Now, the next method, which is the most recommended method, it does require you to have a computer here. Once you have a computer, MacBook usually is the best thing to do, but if you have a PC, what you'll need to do is open up again, and uh, we're gonna open up, let's go ahead and open up Google here. We're gonna look for to download iTunes. So we'll search up iTunes, and once you search up iTunes here, you're gonna click on iTunes here, and then you're gonna want to go ahead and download for Windows. If you have a Windows or if you have a Mac, you'll download for the Mac. So if you click on that, you can download the version right here. Once you download that, will be ready to go. But if you have a MacBook, one of the newer MacBooks, you can actually use, just use your MacBook itself, the Finder app. So I opened up the Finder app and I'm gonna put the phone in a DFU mode. So what you'll do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and first shut down the phone. So on iPhone 8 and above, you're gonna press the volume up and the side button. At the same time, press and hold and that will ask you to slide to power off. I'm gonna slide to power it off. And once you slide to power off, wait, a few seconds for it to completely shut down and then you're going to want to grab your charging cable you're going to plug the cable in here right and then you have the other outlet here now this is going to go into your computer but before we plug it into a computer uh we're going to make sure you know you have the right cable now you might have the older cable as well depending on the macbook you have my macbook is a little bit newer so it requires the usb c cable so what i'm going to do is I'm just going to press this side button once I connect this to the power to the computer. So it's going to go into the computer here. And then I'm going to hold this, right? I'll keep on holding the side button right here, right on it. And we see the Apple logo. Just keep on holding it. Don't do anything else. We're just going to wait until it goes into this recovery mode, which also knows as DFU mode. Once it gets through that mode, all I do is simply do this uh, restore option. As you can see here, the restore option, I'll click on that restore option and it will download the software, the latest version of the software. So it will update to the latest software. Again, it will delete everything on the phone and it will put the phone back in factory mode. And then once you try to set it up again, it's gonna ask for your uh, Apple ID or password for it, and then you can back it up from your iCloud and you'll be able to get back on. So we'll go ahead and do that. The thing about this is when it does download it, if it's more than 15 minutes, and the phone might time out, but you're just gonna wait till that download happens. So let's go ahead and click that restore option. So I clicked on that restore option, and then what we'll do is restore and update. We'll click on that, and then once we do that, we're gonna see this option. We're gonna hit next for the terms and agreement. We're gonna hit continue. And as you can see, the download is happening. That's about six gigs, just under seven gigs. And it's gonna take, depending on the speed of your uh, Wi-Fi connection, it could take somewhere between 10, 15 minutes, even longer. Your phone might time out, which in that case, if we does time out, we're gonna turn off the phone and do the same thing and then get back to the screen where we turn it off and then hold the side button, make sure it's connected, it'll put it in that recovery mode. And as you can see, my MacBook here right now needs charge, so it's a good thing that I plug it into charge while it does download. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into charge and wait till this download completes so you can do that process to show you how that's done. All right, guys, just to show you the process a little bit more, as you can see, as we were downloading, it timed out and it went back to the screen again. So once it does that, we're gonna do the same thing again one more time. We're gonna go ahead and power off the phone again by holding the volume up button and the side button at the same time. And once we do that again, we're gonna to slide to power it off. Wait till it powers off again. Give it a few seconds for it to fully shut down. And so when it shuts down again, we're gonna hold the side button again one more time. Again, if you have a good 
fast internet it shouldn't be any issue so as you can see i'm holding that side button even though apple logo is up we're just going to hold the side button again so it can go into that recovery mode one more time so it does that one more time now you go ahead and click on the finder app if you have itunes it's going to be similar it's going to be up here here and then we're going to hit that restore option one more time and once we do that as you can see your MacBook is currently downloading the update. We click on that and still showing us that because it's going through and doing the update itself. As you can see here, again, this process, you do have to be a little bit patient here while it goes through and does all of that. So as you can see here, we're just waiting it to finish the download here. This time it doesn't show the percentage here, which again, not sure why, but that's kind of the way it is. So. Just keep on waiting just like that. So just be patient with the phone and let it do the update as you can see downloads right like that. All right guys, so as you can see the software has downloaded now. At the bottom here you'll probably see something along the lines of extracting software. That means now it's gonna go ahead and install the software update on the phone after it erases everything. And you can see here the marker right here as well showing that this process is happening so you're just gonna wait till it goes through the whole process just like that again so we wait and it's preparing for iPhone to restore so the phone as you can see here also shuts down you see the Apple logo come up and we see that as well so this is going to go through as well just like that now this will probably take a few minutes depending on how big the software update is that it's updating so we're just going to wait a little bit here and in this process uh, we don't do anything as you can see here it's just going to keep on doing different things as you can this time it says restoring iphone software again so you're just going to have to wait and you can see here that this thing is moving as well. When you do this process, one thing to make sure is that this plug that you plugged into the computer, don't try to move it too much because if it moves somehow or if you have a bad cable connection, you have to restart the whole process and sometimes that's not a good thing. Think through that again, like I said, it has to be a little bit patient when it comes to this. That's why we want to show you guys all the steps because again, this recovery process is one of the things you have to do even if you um, can't if you don't have a computer or you can't get this to work for some reason if you take it to the Apple store they can also help you as they have the updates themselves and they can usually do that for you you do have to show your ownership of your phone and you know validate that it's your phone because after we'll see after you restore it it will still ask for your password to get into the phone so even if someone does that you'll have to still put in the password to get back in because You'll need that Apple ID, pa ID and password, which we'll show you just in a second. But after you do that, you can, like you said, back up from iCloud and get everything back. So as you can see on the i on the computer here, the screen loading is almost there. So we're just gonna have to wait. Like software again, as you can see, it it might do a couple more times before we can get it. But again, this process again is the re most. This is the recommended way that Apple says to fix your phone if you forgot your passcode so basically don't forget your passcode and if you do to go through this whole process now as you can see here it says restoring iphone firmware again doing that again like i said it will do a couple more of these so it's just a waiting game till the phone restores again as well and as you can see finally we got this restore to back to factory setting and you're going to leave it connected as you can see here we're not going to do anything till the till it comes up and you can see here the apple logo comes up right here just like that and after it does that we're going to go ahead and do the final setup here so as you can see here it's going to do probably one more time here with the screen Remember, it's still plugged in here. Don't take the plug off. And as you can see here, this is the screen you'll get where it says the phone is locked because you still need your password this time. So we're going to open it up. 
I'm gonna go ahead and set our country, set up manually, and I will connect to our Wi-Fi here. So just put the So I'll put the password in and try to join. This is just setting the Wi-Fi. So you're gonna connect to Wi-Fi because it erased everything. Your Wi-Fi network is gone. As you can see you're connected. It says a few minutes to activate. So we're gonna wait a few minutes. And as you can see, we will need to put in the Apple ID and the password that was there to unlock the phone. So we'll put that in. So we put in our Apple ID and the password. We're gonna hit next here. And you can see data and privacy, you hit continue. Face ID, you want to set up face ID if you use face ID. And this time you can set up another password that you forgot. You have the option to do all of these four digit. You can do custom numerical, or alphanumerical, whatever you choose or simply not choose to. But highly recommend that you choose a password. So you want to create a password. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a password here. doesn't matter but of course you're going to make sure you put a password now this time around what you will do is you can back up your information so if you use the iCloud backup you can use that one to restore everything or you can just simply not even restore anything and set it up fresh or if you have a backup from your PC you can do that if you backed it up in your PC for our case we're just not going to do that you know you can then you will have to enter your Apple ID again if you didn't do a backup here and then you can just simply go through this process and kind of read the terms and the agreement, continue, set up things like I, this location services and all of that good stuff here. If you have to set up your eSIM card, you can do that again. We're gonna skip through all this. Siri and then all of this as well. And then next, next, and finally, you get back to your screen. And depending on, like I said, depending on if you backed it up or if you didn't if you didn't back it up it'll be just like this spinning back in if you backed it up all of your stuff should start downloading and take a moment or so so hopefully this video was helpful in getting past your if you forgot your passcode on your iphone and like i said if you don't have a computer or can't do all this whole process you can take it to the apple store show ownership and they'll help you do this whole process as well at the store so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time